Hello, art friends. My name is Fleshwad, and today, I have a bit of a different video for you. I was contacted by the company Frunzi, and was asked if I was interested in receiving and reviewing one of their tablets for you guys, and I of course said yes. So I will be reviewing the Frunzi, or Frunzi, I'm not 100% sure how to say it, Rubens standalone drawing tablet for you today while drawing a redraw of my ghost girl, who I kind of only draw when spooky season hits. Don't at me, but she deserves some love too, so here you go, ghost girl. If you end up liking the art of her, she does have a video on my channel of her backstory, which was fan-made, and I'm gonna link that in the card, and I'll also leave it in the description if you're interested. Before I start, this is not a sponsored video, all opinions are my own, and of course, Frenzy did provide this tablet for me to review for you. I was a bit excited to open the box and thought I'd record a little unboxing for you. Inside of the box we have a thank you card, the Rubens Tab Quick Start Guide, a cleaning brush, which I was horrified at first and thought this was lipstick, just me, a dust cloth, two white gloves, and of course, the drawing glove. And then, there is a little box to the side that houses the pen stylus, charging adapter, mini HDMI cable, and an extra battery for the pen. Next is the Frenzy protective slash adjustable stand case. It came like dirty or something, I'm not really sure. It is not my favorite material, but props to Frenzy for even including a case. Most of the time that's something that you'd have to buy separately and they include it, which I think is very nice of them. It's protective and the stand actually works very well, I will say. And it was protected extremely nice in the box as well with a piece of foam on the inside to ensure that it did not arrive bent. And here it is, the Frenzy Android 11 a 10 inch display all in one standalone tablet with 64 gigabytes of storage, all for only $239. If you didn't know, I use an iPad for all of the art on my channel. This tablet is pretty much just like an affordable alternative to an iPad, being that they are both all-in-one screen drawing tablets. I have to say I was a bit nervous working with an Android tablet since I've only ever used Apple products, but the user interface was very easy to configure which I really appreciated. Another thing that I genuinely loved about this tablet is how it is marketed towards beginner digital artists. I remember my first drawing tablet. It was not great. It didn't have a screen, which meant I always had to be hooked up to the computer. With this tablet, I was literally laying down on my couch drawing. This tablet is pretty much perfect for on-the-go art. If you'd like to take it to school with you, or to your friend's house, or if you're like me, to the living room. Wherever you're going, this tablet is compact and light enough to take it with you, and thanks to the included protective case, you don't have to worry about losing your pen or getting the screen scratched or anything like that. Like I mentioned before, this tablet was marketed for beginner digital artists, and I quote from their website, if you're new to the world of digital drawing, the Rubens tab is the partner you're looking for. This tab comes with pre-installed drawing apps and is packed with tons of accessories that allow even tech novices to create beautiful digital art. So today I wanted to use one of the pre-installed drawing apps because I figure if you're new to digital art, you might not know of other digital art apps just yet. When I first started digital art, I believe I used the program GIMP and then the program Metabank Paint Pro for a while and then Photoshop for just a tiny bit because it was so expensive until finally settling on Procreate. But today I'm going to be using the pre-installed app Autodesk. Starting off, I wanted to show you guys a video of me actually using the tablet, but like I said, I do like to lay down or sit on the couch while I draw, so I only recorded a video of me sketching and everything else will be screen recorded. Another great feature of this tablet, you can screen record directly off the tablet. I did notice Autodesk also has a time-lapse feature, which I didn't use today. 
Enjoy the speed art while I talk a little bit about my experience using this tablet. Hardware. The Rubens tab has 4GB of RAM, which is just a testament to how well the tablet itself will run. I didn't notice any lag or anything really, which I was nervous about because I have heard that Android tablets can be pretty slow, but this one worked perfectly. It also has 64GB of storage, which is more than enough for any beginner artist. Drawing pen. My first thought right out of the box, this pen was pretty heavy. However, when drawing, it didn't feel like too heavy or anything. One thing I really want to note is that this pen uses a battery. There is no way to charge the pen, which I can see as both a pro and a con. Con, you have to make sure you have a stock of batteries or invest in rechargeable batteries. These batteries are also quadruple A's, which I'd never heard of and it isn't that easy to find in stores. However, the tablet does come with an extra battery, which completely saved me because I've had this tablet for about a week and I had used it on and off for a little tiny bit, but once I sat down to actually record this video for you guys, it was dead, like completely dead, and so was the pen. I don't know if it was because the battery was already inside of the pen when I received it, but the extra battery did come in handy. A pro of this is if your pen does die, you don't have to wait too long before drawing again, you just quickly replace it and you're good to go. The pressure sensitivity was also pretty impressive. I press very hard when I draw, I just have a heavy hand, but I was impressed with the pen as someone who loves drawing thick and then thin line art without messing with the actual size of the brush, this pen held up extremely well. I was able to make incredible line width variation with just using the pressure sensitivity. The pen has about a pressure sensitivity of around 1024 levels. So it's not too high, but it did work extremely well. There's a bit of a disconnect when you're drawing, like from the screen, but it's not so bad that you can't work with it. I also like to use a very high streamline or stabilization, I just have shaky hands. Autodesk did have a built-in stabilizer, but it honestly wasn't that great. However, that is less to do with the pen and more with the app itself. Display. The tablet comes with a pre-installed screen protector, which is such an amazing feature. The display is okay. It's HD and the touch is nice, however it is very dull in comparison to my iPad and my Mac. Right now I will show you a video I took comparing the finished art between the three devices and it's kind of mind-blowing. Because here I thought I was creating a very spooky dark desaturated piece. And when I switched it to my Mac to edit this video, I honestly thought my drawing had been tampered with because at first glance, to me, it looked like a completely different drawing. It was kind of insane. Long battery life. The Rubens tablet supports up to 5 hours of working time, which I can't say for sure is true or not, but I did have the tablet for a week and it died about halfway of me using it here and there. But once it was charged and I used it to only color the drawing, it didn't lose much battery at all, so I would say the term long battery life does hold up. If you couldn't tell already, I am 100% for this tablet. Besides being a drawing tablet, it also doubles as a regular tablet, which is great for artists who also want to work on social media and promoting their art. You can do it right from the tablet. I didn't get a screen tablet until I think around 3 years ago. So for four years, I was drawing on, well, first of all, a computer using a mouse and then a screenless, tiny, like six, maybe five inch drawing tablet. If I had gotten this tablet as my beginner tablet, I would have been psyched. I feel like my art would probably have improved a lot faster, for sure. Even now, as a more experienced artist, I was having so much fun drawing on this tablet and experimenting with a new app. And did you see all of the brushes that came in Autodesk? It was digital artist heaven. If you're interested in this tablet, I will leave a link in the description on where you can buy the Frunzi Rubens tab. Once again, huge thank you to Frunzi for sending me this tablet, and thank you to all of you. Because without your support, this wouldn't have been possible. 
Getting this tablet, I'm really just using the basics, reminds me so much of when I first started out on YouTube and drawing digitally. It's very nostalgic in a way. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this tablet down below. Do you also create digital art? If so, what do you use to create your art? I'm very interested in hearing. Please click the like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so, so much for watching, art friends. Until the next video, bye.